June 27, 2021 Minneapolis silence blanketed target field on Sunday as Cleveland's Josh Naylor flailed in pain after a collision in right field. He was taken to the Hennepin County Medical Center emergency room, and the Indians are still waiting to hear his exact diagnosis. A fly ball by Jorge Polanco was coming down in shallow right field in the bottom of the fourth inning of the Indians' 8-2 loss to the Twins. Second baseman Ernie Clement was tracking backwards as right fielder Naylor was charging in. Neither were able to get out of the way and a brutal collision sent Naylor airborne. When he landed, his right foot appeared to have gotten stuck under his body weight in the wrong direction. Naylor immediately started rolling on the ground, pointed for help and swiped his hand across his throat indicating he was severely injured. Paramedics joined the Indians' medical staff out in right field and got him immediately in an apparatus that looked like an air cast on his lower right leg. We know that there's a fracture, somewhere, said Indians manager Terry Francona. Other than that, he's being evaluated over at the hospital right now. We'll know more, I hope, in a couple hours. We're not even sure if he can travel home with us. We're trying to work through some things. We'll find out more hopefully pretty soon. The medical staff spent 12 minutes working on Naylor before he was able to be removed from the field. And up until the point he was taken out of the ballpark, it was clear he was in a lot of pain. The way he reacted, it was heartbreaking, man, Indians backstop Rene Rivera said. It's hard. A guy like him, a nice guy in the clubhouse, really a lot of energy, positivity and seeing him go through that was really tough. You could tell the full dugout was really in shock. In the first few minutes after the medical staff got out to Naylor, Clement was just a few feet away, sitting on the grass with his head down. Although he sustained a cut on his chin, his reaction was simply in response to how horrible he felt for being part of the collision. The fly ball appeared to be deep enough for Naylor to make a relatively routine catch. However, Francona said he didn't think Naylor called Clement off, which led to the crash. On the replay, Naylor I think was going to catch it about shoulder height, Francona said. He's got to call it because the second baseman, he's going until he hears something. So there's got to be some communication there, and I don't believe there was. But still, Clement, who's played in seven big league games, couldn't help but feel responsible. Outfielder Harold Ramirez escorted Clement to the dugout as he walked off the field to get checked by the training staff with his hat covering two-thirds of his face to hide his emotion. He went into the dugout and before he even was evaluated, he put his head down on the bench, covering his face as his teammates attempted to console him.